In the past, I did a video about uh, EGR cooler that was leaking. In this case, I'm presenting this 2019 Cascadia with a DD15 engine, and um, the problem still persists. Um, as we can see here, this is the EGR cooler right here. It goes all the way to the intake, and inside here we have flow of exhaust gases and we have coolant and this coolant is the one that keeps the temperature down from the exhaust so we can mix back to the intake but when it goes bad there is two reasons how it goes bad coolant start getting inside the system inside the EGR cooler or there is an excessive amount of carbon built inside the EGR cooler and this is not allowing the flow causing different errors check engine line and stuff like that but here we have the EGR cooler let's see this is the inside and you can see coolant there you can clearly see the coolant and as I said before this is a 2019 truck and the one I did show on my video um, that day, I remember, it was a 2012. It was a 2012 Cascadia with a DD15 engine. And this is a 2019, and we still have the same issue. Of course, the EGR cooler is not the same. The EGR cooler is different, but the intake, I mean the exhaust, in this case, this is because the intake is going to be this area of the EGR cooler and then the exhaust area where the ER cooler travels back to the intake um, is going to be here. So this part changes, is different than the um, older Cascadias. But in this case, uh, we have uh, a bad EGR cooler and it's replacement. The fault that this um, EGR cooler was getting, uh, the driver, I mean the owner operator in this case, was telling me that he was getting one gallon of coolant every 1000 miles so he was adding coolant every 1000 miles so this is a problem that needs to be take care as soon as uh, you can do it the only problem that this is a very expensive part 1800 maybe 2500 depending on where you buy it i don't have the exact price for this one because this one is different than the older ones but it's going to be around that price and i'm also going to show you the mileage because many of you asked me what was the mileage when this failed so let's check that out here is my sticker um see here that's the mileage it doesn't even have 500,000. So, if you guys wonder, uh, that is a very low mileage. And uh, it, it already happened. Um, a solution to this issue will be to replace the EGR cooler. Replace the coolant with new one. And run a region so we can burn all the cool landing is in here and that's pretty much it that will be the solution for this issue and uh after that there is nothing else to add to this video just a basic video showing you how to inspect it and also to how to inspect it yes that will be a question that probably you are going to have it um and how to inspect it is then you have to remove this pipe this pipe is the one that connects from the EGR, I mean, from the EGR, yeah, EGR bar over here. The EGR bar is this one right here. The actuator is this one, and the bar goes on the back right here. So for the 2019s, so 17s and up mostly, goes like this. Um, olders have the EGR bar located here, and way older is right here. So um, the pipe goes from here to here so the pressure travels from here to here and then pulls i mean pushes all the pressure all the way to the intake it goes across and goes to the other side and uh 
removing these bolts i mean i showed the other video on how to remove the EGR cooler on my the past it's pretty similar the process doesn't vary that much the only difference will be right here then we have two hoses right there the hose this hose right here two clamps and we need to install a new hose that will be the only difference about it and other than that pretty much is the same same process we have a six millimeter allen four clamps in total uh seals two seals on the back right here the pipe and we have to drain the coolant so if you want to know how to replace it you can check my channel and look for uh egr cooler replacement and as i say that is going to be the only variation over here then we don't have a seal for the older cascadias we have a seal for the newer dd15 engines we have that hose there so that is the hose right there see that one anyway um that is pretty much what i have to add for this video and um if you have any questions you can comment below if you want more details as i said before about egr problems you can check my channel and you want to see different content the problems don't vary that much the location of the components do but the 15 en engines are very um we can say com conservative engines they're pretty similar even though even though then they look completely different they still have similar technology it is just how uh they are positioned the sensors or the actuators the location in this case is the one that varies but how it works is pretty basic the same so here we have a 2019 as i said before with problems um egr cooler problems and it's going to be fixed we need to order it and uh that's pretty much it questions go to the comment section below um like the video go to instagram check for me francisco maya youtube and uh subscribe and thank you for watching